Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've talked about layoffs extensively on this channel uh, and it's time, the data is coming in that if you are a remote worker, it is time to get back in the office. That is at least if you wanna keep your job. So most of the layoffs that we've seen thus far have been in tech, though we are starting to see an uptick in other layoffs, which today we saw an announcement from 3M, they're gonna lay off 2,500 employees. But if we run over and we take a look at this article, it examines sort of where the layoffs have happened, especially around uh, San Francisco and Silicon Valley. So in order to produce these results, which I'm about to show you in a second, they used WARN filings. So in California, they have this thing called WARN, which is Worker Adjustment and Retraining Notification. So these are reports that uh, employers, large employers, 75 or more uh, employees are required to file with the state. So whether the employee gets a huge severance package or not, it still has to be reported to the state. So that's where these filings are coming from. So we run down here. There are currently 2.4 million employed workers in the three counties combined, according to the California Employment Development Department. And the total layoffs since July 1 amount to 15,362 people or 0.6% of all remaining employed workers. Actual layoffs by county based on the Warren filings. Here we go, San Francisco County, 62-48. San Mateo and Santa Clara also listed there at about four and 5,000 respectively. So these Warren reports produce and they tell us how many actual employees are laid off from these counties where these headquarters are kind of at and these offices. If we take a look at these numbers, they're significantly smaller than the amount of layoffs that we've seen out of these individual companies. So this article goes on to detail that a lot of these layoffs are coming from remote employees. Now, this makes sense for several reasons, one of which we've heard CEOs, especially in finance, but also in tech, starting to say, hey, we want to see employees back in the office. We're missing this collaboration. And that's an ongoing theme. We see it in this Forbes article. CEOs are talking about team building, connection, and collaboration. Now, what they're really talking about and they're really referring to is we're seeing a downtick in productivity from remote employees. We run over, we take a look at this HubSpot article. 39% report, 39 of employees report, no, my work environment doesn't impact my productivity, which tells us that 61% of employees feel like they're impacted by their work environment. Now, this makes sense. When you think about people at home, they don't necessarily have, let's say, a printer or scanner infrastructure that really supports what they're trying to do. I know print is dying, but there's still a lot of that goes on. You know, you don't have your network infrastructure. Your internet connection may not be as good. You have distractions at home. Employers have recognized and they see this and they're seeing this in the bottom line productivity of employees. They feel like they're not getting value for their dollar. I hate to break it to you. That's how they feel. That's what we're seeing. So these employers are using these layoffs as an opportunity to trim the herd of the people that don't want to come back to the office. They're viewing those as, and whether you are or not, they're, they're viewing those as the lazy ones and the ones that are trying to game the system. And they're thinning that herd. Also think about if you are a manager and you're being tasked with laying someone off, are you going to lay off someone who you don't ever see? who works from home, you see them on a Zoom call, you, you don't have that personal interaction with them, or you're gonna lay off the person that's in the office that you have to go to physically and be like, Susan, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to let you go. That's a much harder conversation than it is to do it over Zoom where it's kind of impersonal and it's just kinda, here it is, good to go, I don't really know you, uh, it's not working out, best of luck, here's your severance and move along. No, it's much harder to lay off that person in the office. You need to be that person in the office if you want to keep your job. You need to be there. Your, your boss needs to feel you and see you present in the office. See what you're doing, hearing about what you're doing, interacting with you so that you can tell them what is going on. It is nowhere near as personal in Zoom. These people are getting trimmed and they're getting thinned out. You're going to continue to see it. You're going to continue to hear it. TikTok was the latest. They came out yesterday. TikTok reportedly threatened to terminate remote employees who don't live near their assigned office location. Guys, it is happening. If you are a remote worker, get your butt in the office if you want to keep your job. These companies are targeting remote workers. Don't be one of them. Catch you guys in the next one.